you're going to want to do, this is more of like the tactile practice for this month is, can you get a, can you have like a sacred space and a place that you're putting all of these December possibilities? Um, because I pulled a card for us before. This is from my new, this is like my all time new favorite Rachel LaForce deck. This is Alexis, uh, Raccoon? Raccoon? I'm definitely saying it wrong. Um, Alexis, if you're watching, I'm so sorry. But she has created this, presumably she, this beautiful deck. It's called Magical Spirit Oracle, The Brilliance of You. And it's like the perfect amount of like, it just feels like... 12 year old Rachel would have found this in a head shop and like thought it was like the fucking coolest thing. So I'm just very attracted to it. Um... Because all of the decks that I have, I kind of have them when I'm imagining people that are going to start showing up and wanting to work with me, they kind of hold the energy of those people. And I was like, I feel like I don't have a deck that currently feels like me. So anyway, just letting you know that that's more about me and I should edit that out, but I won't. Um, and so I pulled a card for, again, this idea of December possibilities when you're feeling this energy and it's maybe it's getting away from you, find a sacred space that you can dream. This is your place of possibility that even if a lot of these things you're like, oh, I could totally do that. That person will say yes. Like you already know all these things are going to go through. December in most every business and just like we're done. It's the end of the year. Like we're done. We've done it. And so allow yourself to balance those two energies, which is like, I can rest in this. I don't need to do anything right now. And then I'm also going to dream and be in this space of possibility so that I can slowly start to implement that in January, February, March, right? Because next year picks up very quickly. I do feel like January is that same energy of like, we're kind of really finding our footing from this year. That's not really a new intuitive message. That's kind of always how it goes, right? We're starting this new uh, like cycle. And so there is a lot of that. But I feel like unlike this year where I don't feel like energy really picked up to like end of March, right? That's when it was like whoosh. And then everything's just kind of taken off since. That energy picks up a lot faster this year because the energy that we're feeling now is going to take us into next year. So really what we did through August, September, October, and then even into this month, that's, or excuse me, into November, in this month of December, it's really for embodying and holding that energy down because pew, that's what's going to take us into the new year. So let me leave you with this card pull and that will be that. So this is a card pull for the December energy. Uh, it's this idea of infinite possibility and magic. And that's really what we're going to talk about. So I pulled this card uh, and I love that it's also the first one from the deck, which is kind of fun because we're ending this year going into the new thing. So um, I know that it's hard to kind of see this card, um, but it has like it says it's the first card and it said there is a reason that you have those dreams. This is the card of the mystic intuition, high priestess and the visionary. Uh, this idea of unrelenting self belief. Um, and so it's also really beautiful. There's like a sun up top with clouds and then it's kind of raining down where her eyes are. They're turning into butterflies and then it goes down into like, there's um, this skull that has that's like all of these mushrooms and flowers have come from. So it's really, for me, it's signifying like this continual cycle of what is dying off and then what are you creating? The fact that there's, you know, flowers and mushrooms growing from the space where something died, again, always equaling to us that our pain, our old cycles aren't, you know, it's, it's never like a, a dump it and leave it. It's like dump it, observe, what can we take with us? And using that kind of as this spiritual fertilizer how does she do it into uh, this next phase? So again, this is card number one, the mystic intuition, high priestess, visionary, and self-belief. The affirmations uh, spell is I trust that I am a powerful visionary. You are a mystic. Stop doubting your insights your visions, your dreams, your magic and intuition are on the rise. You're more powerful right now than you might even think. Trust that there's a reason that you've been given these things at this time. 
Trust there's a reason you've been given these things at this time. A hidden layer just beneath the surface will soon appear. Again, December, we're gonna, we want to feel it. We want to feel into it, but it's not quite there yet, right? Take special note of any visions, particularly night dreams, new desires, new life goals, or seemingly random ideas that you'll likely take action on. Have you had any recently? Again, this idea of this possibility, et cetera. It's also fun because I just gave you all that and I pulled the card. I knew it was the right one, but I hadn't read all of this yet. So this is fun. A hidden layer just beneath the surface will soon appear. Take special note of any visions, particularly night dreams, new desires, new life goals, or seemingly random ideas you'd like to take action on. Have you had any recently? Ponder and pay attention. Perhaps there is one or more coming. You are a strong portal of connection. It is time to take a closer look within. And when you do, don't invalidate yourself. Okay. Stay in the realm of possibility, right? Believe. Yes, believe. Take, what a dork. Take inspired action and heed the signs. There are omens pointing the way, patterns, signs, and repeating things. Observe, allow, and listen. Observe, allow, and listen. Again, this, there's no action there for December. We're observing, we're allowing, and we're listening, right? Spirit says, go deeper and be bold in your endeavors. Trust the dreams and desires you are inspired by. There is a reason they are yours. You have magic within and are capable of, design, of divine insight. You have magic within and are capable of div divine insight. Again, that magic from the season, we want to integrate that. Trust in that and your intuition will grow and deepen every time you do. Every relationship grows with trust and consistency and your connection to your magic is no different. Perfect card. Perfect card. I knew it. Okay. Uh, and this is her kind of tip of like manifestation enhancer. So this is fun. Oh my, how, you guys. I'm sorry. I know that I do this, but every single time that it's so spot on, I'm just like, <laughs> this is so dorky, but I'm like, oh my God, it really is magic. Okay. This is wild. This is literally what I just said. Okay. Start writing things down, especially if you get random downloads from spirit. Practice taking them more seriously. A consistent spiritual practice such as meditating, journaling, connecting with your ideas, and engaging with them is going to be extremely helpful at this time. Be open to receive and believe.